Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are playing Room 2 The Rise of the Republic as Tarhuna and we've taken most of Italy at this point. We just have to take out the Veneti in the north, like the free regions that they still have. We made a trade and a military alliance with the Gallic Confederation. Now I'm hoping that Le Ponti will respond in the same way. It's just that it took some time and it doesn't seem like they're really wanting to, to join us. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what we can do in order to make the situation better. Now, as soon as we're going to be done with that and we're going to work on the economy, we need to start focusing on the self, right? Like, if we can start trading with Syracuse, and we already started trading with some of the smaller factions, we might be able to take out Cartago and then declare war on Taras. We need some territory from Taras, so I'm hoping that we can get this going soon. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Uh, this guy seems to have like some ships here. Let's see, a level up or a spy. It's not our assassin spy, so it's just a spy who supports the army. More upkeep for all land units, sure, we'll do that. Uh, he moved a bit too far away, that means he has ships, right? Yeah, so he has naval ships, that's why he can run away so far. Let's take our spy south and see what Cartridge has in at home. I feel like we can push with this army towards him as soon as we scout them out. Uh, these guys will remain around here. Don't want to level up the general just yet. Let's take a look. What else do we have around here? This diplomat. Do I want to go? I don't think I want to go with corruption to the next level. That's going to cost us an extra 500 per upkeep and I... Not important. Plus 5 diplomacy with all faction, that is good. We could use that. Smuggler. Diplomatic. Morale, wealth. There's plus 1 tariff income from trade. That can be good. Minus 10 upkeep for mercenaries. I can go in quickly through this, but I see nothing that would be important. I think I'm gonna go with that diplomatic plus five to diplomacy. Yeah, that is that sounds like a good idea. Let's see, trade? No, she doesn't want any trade well, for now she, because she's devious and defensive. I thank you for the offer, but we are not. Mm. We're friendly, we're on 46. Syracuse, maybe you? Nope. Be welcome. If I can Well, what can you do? We'll try again. With these ships. We'll keep them on replenishment. The general. Yeah, let's take Sebatum from them. Is there anything there? Vanity heavy cavalry and some spears. No. We can auto resolve it. Okay, now we have Sebatum. That means we also have access to Amber. Metlum, Amber Shore. The sun sheds its golden tears into the ocean. Quite cool. So it costs more because of cultural differences, but that's okay. It's not a huge cost for us. Let's see, what else do we have here? Let's take this army, move them north. Oh, rats. I missed that army. Yeah, and we can't make it whole. This city has no defenses because we haven't converted it. I think I'm gonna recruit another army. 
just enough to to stop him. Let's see. Velha, 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 Velha family. Followers of Selvan, Spurina. Okay, this is us. Let's bring him with reinstated legacy. Taran's chosen, sure. And heavy hopefully day. He won't have what to do against them. You and as far as recruitment, I think I'm gonna bring some mercenaries. What does he have? A few spears and some javelins. Yeah, you know what? Let's bring like one Etruscan warrior is worth a dozen Roman soldiers. Cavalry? Axes? Yeah, that should be more than enough. At least for one turn. We have plenty of money to go around. And I don't want to convert it really right now. Let's build a mine, food, a temple, and we're gonna go with, once again, mines, food, and a temple, and one of those libraries. Let's see, anything else in the army? Bronze warriors, they're still here in position. This army. Yeah, I don't know. We'll leave them there. And these guys with the level up. Okay. With the money, what can we do? Let's see. Empty slots anywhere. If I was to go with Altar of Tinia. Or one of these temples, let's see. What did we need? Voltumna or what? No, it was Tinia, right? Yeah, Oracle of Tinia. Okay, we can't get to Tinia, but what would that mean? So it would mean plus one to the rank of all our agents, some culture, some research, 10%, and wealth from learning. That's culture. Okay? We were to go to Voltumna, we don't use food, 8% research, and we would get 6% wealth from agriculture, plus 2 food from Pera. Is this Pera? No, these are Peras, the normal farms. Oh, that is... that is decent. Plus 4 to unit replenishment. Upgrade this building improves all Team Tmia buildings this province, okay? Netos, Netons... Well, from maritime commerce and ports. Uh, this would mean what? Double, oh, 180 instead of 80 wealth, if we were to change the port. And Altar of Laran is for melee troops. Hmm. Probably we will go with Voltumna. I'm not gonna focus on the mission, we can't make it up to that point. Let's see, agriculture, local commerce produces us the most gold. Once again, local commerce. Maritime commerce next. Agriculture in Velusna. And agriculture once again. It's a big combination, but I think going for the food will be a plus. Mm, here, I mean, we don't really have a lot of industry in the area. So let's stop it. Yeah, might add a few buildings or, or mines there and then we'll decide to improve it. Well, from industry, 10% 10, 10 extra wealth from agriculture and 6% more from industry. That is quite cool. We're definitely gonna come back to this one. What, what next? What else could we do? Let's upgrade this industry. We have... Two mines. Sounds pretty good. And I feel like that's about it. Let's see. A world wonder. The peaks of splendor. I guess these are the peaks of splendor, right? What does it give us? Well, minus 10 attrition losses on when under siege and plus 2 siege holdout time. Hmm. I think this would be great, like in multiplayer games, right? Where where players would be more inclined to be sieging each other out. 
rather than the AI rushes it too much and we rush it as well. We need seven turns to declare war to Taras without losing like uh, the diplomatic stat status or the reputation. One of the things I'm waiting for is to close the deals with some of the other factions that we don't care to go to war with. I think this army just... I think one besieged us and one just took over a city. I will have to double check that. Yeah, Patavium is under siege. They don't really have anything, they've attacked us again. And we have enough defenses, I feel. Yeah, it's city guards, Hopite and skirmishers. And they just have some mercenaries. They have pretty much no chance. Whenever I look at, at this kind of golic units, it reminds me of Asterix and Obelix. Maybe some of you know it. They keep running away. This is going to be super annoying. Let's bring our ships over. I mean, we can't just keep running after them. Okay, with this army, let's construct first mine, a food farm and a temple. With this army, I think there's nothing left to conquer, just a few armies here and there, some remnants. And thus I think I'm gonna bring them towards the coast, towards the Geste, maybe Tarvisium. Okay, well, you, let's see. I guess we'll take this first. We'll take Homum from them. And I think we're pretty much done with with the Veneti, except for one town to, to the e, to the west of us. But let's see. Can I? Uh, do I want more barbarians? No, we'll go, we're gonna go with extra defenses or Propagator plus five to culture. I think so. I think this would be a welcome addition right now It would change the culture of the area a lot faster Yeah, it should work Now, let's see. I think they'll be fine here. Are the gales at war? Okay, there no, they're just at war with the Veneti. Let's see, trade? Yes. Welcome. Ooh, finally. No aggression they don't want. Expensive. Military? Military access? Um What did we accept? Non aggression? Non aggression for a little mile. Okay, that's good. Defensive now? Nope. Military? Nope. Okay, well at least we made a step forward, I'm happy with that. Let's leave it at that. Over here... Yeah, they did take a town from us, so we'll have to besiege him and take him out. So let's go forward. Yeah, very unfortunate that we didn't manage to Repaired. But what can you do? Win some, lose some. Let's see. This guy is almost level, ready to level up. So maybe a few more turns, he will be able to get some experience. As far as 
on me. Let's Bulvar Spy first. Cartage. I'm trying to do too many things at once. Let's keep on this going. Let's see. We still are at 13 out of 15. In one turn we're getting a new research, but it's still not the one that we want. We're a few turns away from getting 10% extra income from all sources, and I feel like that is going to be a very good increase. One that will bring us closer to that 70,000 that they want. Join war. These people Did we declare peace? I oh, they you. offer to join war Why for some money. Sure, it's, it's going to late. give us better relations. So we'll accept. They want peace treaty and we'll say no. Only the greatest dares be... Cartage is back. I'm not really sure what's their obsession with blockading that port. Okay. Population surprise. In Sabinia first. Well, doesn't really matter. Let's increase it. Let's add some food. Maybe a temple actually. In Senonia. Yeah, definitely go with industry. More research. Okay. Let's see. Could I get anything else from you? Syracuse trade? No. Be welcome. Well. Let's attack them first. What do they have? They just have a bunch of cavalry. It's not even worth doing. I feel like today's episode will be a lot about just quickly taking over, like steamrolling the north, stabilizing the region and trying to improve our economy, even by a little bit. Okay, let's destroy all of these slums, we'll try to place something better in their stead, try to make a more productive area. There is a theory, if you don't know, like something, I think it's called the broken window example. Uh, or the broken window theory. Uh, do I want to dismantle? No, I think I'll keep the, the general there. But basically, the theory is that if you have a, like, let's say you have a community and at some point there is a broken window on a shop and you don't replace it. Maybe the shop is not active anymore, right? It's just an empty building. If you don't replace the window of that shop, wisdom, then there will be will maybe some other kids or uh, people like breaking the window at some point or another, right? Who knows for how long they stay there. Let's see. Okay, we got some... The for 6,000 we got some movement in their land and you know they're giving us 1,400 per turn from the trade agreement it's better than to trespass and break the relation so they're gonna give us in four turns our money back and here we're just going to engage the ship while I tell you the story uh, so basically the the idea is like that building will, will suffer some damage and the area is going to look a bit more unattractive and to investors and other people. And somehow it influences, uh, from that it influences the buildings around them as well to and the businesses to move away. And from that the community becomes slightly poorer and you know, being more influenced by the lack of different opportunities, even the simpler jobs. Let's see, mm, what can we do for this general? I guess more gravitas would be useful for our faction. Now, the, it, what I'm telling you, it's a, it's a very short portion of that theory. Like, the, you, you need to sit down and read it. It's really interesting. Um, and the idea behind it is that if you want your cities to develop or a community to develop, what you want is to make sure that you repair what is broken 
I give you greeting and my attention and for the next like few. you always repair it, you have parks and you have things like that. When when people have a good surrounding, they're more inclined to develop and to grow and opportunities to appear in the area, right? Like who doesn't want to invest in a beautiful area? It's 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 an interesting idea and theory and I feel it applies so this is their last stand uh, it applies in, in many portions of your life and it, I feel it applies in, into someone's house as well like if you leave a corner or you have a room that is a deposit it m makes it pretty easy to have the same type of mess pretty much around the house or like if you're gonna start to ignore a corner where there's a mess, you might be living. Will you'll start ignoring other messes that happen around in other rooms, and it scales up from that. Okay, let's take this ship out finally. Yep, let's sink it. And I guess we'll unite these ships. We'll have them as escort. Oh, did I saw that right? Cartage Rebel. Did we just take out Cartage? Wow. So there's only Cartage Rebels left. They're good. They have a really good army here. But, yeah, the rest is Syracuse. Huh. Well, I have no, no business in that area, so... I guess I'll move this army towards the mainland of Italy. As we will need to fight Taras soon. As a level up, what are we going to give them? Ship defenders. Interpret escorts. Six melee defense when escorting transports and six shots per minute. Huh. Morale to all naval troops. Yeah, you know what? I guess we could go with defense and stuff, but we're gonna pick attack. I'm not sure we're gonna have this army or this fleet fight with us at any point. So let's bring them up here. Try to take Fregele or Fregele. It's gonna take us some time to convert these areas, but oh, trying to think like how, what would I, should I do going forward? How should I position my troops to fight Taras? I feel like we're gonna steamroll them pretty bad, but we shall see. For the moment, Keepers of the Sacred Book. Let's see. Park you there. I guess I'll bring this guy in Roma. They don't have the best army, but they have good ranks. It's probably one of the reasons why I kept them like that. And they're gold as well. I will keep them in Roma for now, just so they can be close enough to An Angani, Anagni. Uh, yep. I don't think they have enough troops to ambush us, so I'm not afraid of running at them. The Bronze Warriors... I guess... Let's bring them up to Esernia. Yeah, I think I want to take over that one first. It's a pretty defensible position. And yeah, we have no spies. I was hoping that I could move one to the south. Okay, let's see. As per usual, but converting first this one, because we're going to war with Taras. But as per usual, we're going to take industry and a library. And 
that should be it. I, await your command. We shall prevail. I think that is everything that we can do. We stand. Hmm. What about moving these troops around? Like this army is not great. I think I'm gonna give make an exchange here. Yeah, and we'll take this army. It's not necessarily great, but at least they have good ranks. And we can bring this army to the south. Okay, so I'm guessing it's gonna take a while here. I thought it would be happen faster. They're still trying to throw some troops at us. Very persistent. And annoying at the same time. The Cursed Tomb. Let's seal it this time. I don't want to open it. Let's try to seal it and see what happens. Military disruption. Okay, we finally finished this mission. Have a lot of money now. Let's see. Insubria is of high strategic value to those wishing to secure their northern borders and protect them from attack. Its people unfortunately claim an ancient right of ownership over this territory and show no interest in a mutually beneficial solution. We have no choice but to remove them. Following faction must have no more territory or forces on the map in Subres. Is are they in Subres still on the map? I mean, mm, no. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, maybe it's gonna be bugged and it's not gonna offer us anything more. Let's see, have it all, hold at least one of every strategic resource. Success rests on the acquisition of sufficient resources and their wise and prudent use. Securing essential resources is always a prudent matter, measure, one that promises stability and peace for all. And maintain a total of 20 units of the following type, Etruscan Axe Infantry. The only thing stronger than a well-trained, experienced army is a much larger, more experienced and better trained force with the Axe Infantry? I mean, maybe if we were to push them against the Spears, the heavy Hoplite? Maybe? For the armor piercing value? But otherwise they were not great. The Light Infantry would really do a good number on them especially like the sword units anyway let's move our armies closer to the mainland uh, with you i guess i guess it is quicker by land fine let's see let's construct farms with you yeah i'll bring you the east let's attack we're done now I guess we'll do some looting We'll transform these, demolish the, the rest, as per usual. We're doing this pretty quickly right now. Hmm. What else shall we do? The altar of Boltumna. Let's see, or we could go with local archives, wealth from culture, wealth from commerce, and minus one corruption, or 12 wealth from industry and 20 wealth from agriculture. We don't really have industry, so I think I'm gonna stay with the commerce and 
quit ball tour now. That should be pretty much it. Politics. Okay, we're good. Everybody's happy. I'm happy. Let's end the turn. They want a defensive alliance and I agree. For 130 Our gold, who cares? Yeah, have spoken, we're good. And Let's stay in good relations. An adoption? We'll stop the adoption. During Grand Ceremony, Master Bill sealed the tomb under a pile of heavy stone blocks. While the noble will approve of the action, as nobody made an attempt to seize the treasure inside, tampering with the tomb has made the commoners rather uneasy. Okay, so we get local complaints, minus two public order per turn, and... Oh, okay, that is fine. Political ideal plus ten loyalty to all political parties for eight turns. That is good. Let's see, population surplus in Tusk, yeah. We are at 9,399 to our economy, that is really nice. Industry? Um, not a lot of industry, but we're gonna throw some of them there. At least we have the marble and the oil, which is considered industry. Yeah, there's nothing... Oh, plus 10 tax rate. Actually, let's keep him in Patapium. Seems like the tax rate, that 10% extra tax rate is better light here. You will keep moving yourself. And I feel like this pretty much it. Let's see, what do the Veneti have here? Can we take out some of their armies? Maybe one of them here? What you ask is not possible. Yeah, let's... I guess we don't have defenses here, but I feel like we can still bring them over. Okay, enslave, and let's see, if I force march them... Yeah, perfect. That's all we needed. Industry, food, temple. And if I'm going to take a look at anything else... Hmm, guess that could work. I still don't feel like it's the right investment. Let's add another mine level here. We can support it in Terranoa. We do have plenty of mines. Yeah. And... Well, from agriculture and industry? Sounds like a good idea. You know what I really want? I'll probably upgrade this mine. Like the gold mine. I feel like there in Tor Terra Noa will have probably one of our most, like our richest territories. So we'll have to see uh, during the tomorrow's episode, which I feel like it might be the last episode. I might do an hour long episode or something along those lines, just to to close down this this series. Because I feel like we're very close. Maybe I'll do a bit of editing in the process. That's why I'm building the economy. Okay, for Umbria, we have a lot of food, so let's add that. Faithless, inspired populacy. Okay. I think we're pretty much done for now. So, until tomorrow, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.